Hello Facebook land. <laughs> How's everybody doing tonight? Welcome to what I hope will be the first of many What's Up Wednesdays. With any luck, they'll actually be on a Wednesday the next time. <clears throat> After last night's fun, which for the record I did not like wait just before the thing and go on. I was on a good hour and a half before I was supposed to do my live trying to figure it out and I thought I had it all figured out and then I didn't have it figured out and it took me a fair bit of time to undo what I had done. Uh, ended up deleting the program, restarting, fixing a few things. So I got it all fixed by like 10 o'clock last night. So today I have not touched the computer before about 10 minutes ago. Uh, this is the reason you're only seeing the desk and not me. Hi. Uh, because I did not want to screw everything up again for the second night in a row. So... Hopefully by the time we get to the next one, I will have uh, I will have figured out how to get the picture in picture so I can show you the cool. Because you know I got props. Every time I'm going to have props. Um, not the kind of woo woo props, but you know, this kind of props. Ooh, i got to move my hand slower. Um, but yes, I'm eventually going to have it that I can have two things going at once. So, let's hope it works. In the meantime though, let's talk about what's up. I was going to do that obnoxious... What movie was that from? Scary movie, I think? What's up? But I decided that I was too old to do that. <laughs> Ridiculous. And so we're not going to do that. We're just going to say, hey, here's what's up. So you may have noticed, taking a step back, you may have noticed that I'm trying all sorts of new things. I've got Instagram. I'm trying a couple different posts. I have figured out how to schedule posts. So some of the times when things come up, it's because I planned it ahead of time and I'm off doing something totally different. I'm enjoying all the new things I'm learning, but whole lot of trial and error at this point. The best thing that I could uh, could ask for right now from everybody else is I would love it if people would comment or even send me a separate text, email, whatever, and let me know if it works for you or not. If you're seeing what you want to see, if you'd like to see something else, um, I am open to any suggestion at this point. I'm just trying to, I have the time now, I have, certainly I've always had the I want to do this, but I now have more time. I'm learning some of the skills, and so I have all sorts of ideas of things I want to do, and uh, now it's just a matter of what would you guys like to see. So please, let me know how I'm doing. Um, <clears throat> for those not on Facebook, which I realize you guys are, so this doesn't maybe necessarily apply to you, but if you know somebody not on Facebook, um, I have figured out how to put stuff on YouTube. And so when my Facebook Live is over, I'm going to take that video and put it on my YouTube channel so that there's a place that non-Facebookers can go. Um, I have a blog, I have Instagram, I have Pinterest, which I always forget about, but I'm going to start posting things there. So uh, if you have a preference or whatever, let me know. If you want to talk in person, woohoo, we are doing in person on Saturday. So the other skill I've learned is Canva, um, which... <laughs> is a graphic program so I'm trying to make fancy posters now this fancy poster I hope you all enjoyed because it took a good hour and a half to make um, I suspect they will get faster as I go but right now it was not fast but nonetheless I'm liking it um, so this Saturday is the first of our get uh, live events in quite a while what I'm planning to do is have out all of the different sets and papers and cool stuff that I have and give you an idea of what is planned for basically now through December. I've got a fall Halloween themed class that I was talking about on Monday. Um, I like to come up with catchy names, so yes, it's Grateful and Gravestones is that one. Um, the 2nd of October is World Card Making Day, so we're just going to all get together and make cards. Um, it will be birthday cards. Uh, you can probably switch them out and make thank you cards or whatever you need, but it'll be a bigger variety of non-holiday cards. And then I have probably four or five different dates in October, November, December that are different types of, of stamping in holiday cards, Christmas cards. Um, I would like to know how people want to do it, so that's some of the kind of stuff we're going to chat about on Saturday. But we're also going to make cards on Saturday. So... If you want to get a head start, hence the catchy name, Holiday Head Start, if you want to get a head start on your craft, Christmas crafting, um, I know with the way shipping and mail is right now, that's probably a good idea, especially if you have friends or relates uh, overseas or 
even probably even in the states it takes forever to get stuff to my brother so we're going to get a little bit of a head start and really it's just an excuse to get together and make cards because that is what i love to do the most make cards the other thing i really love to do is send cards so if i know your birthday and i know your mailing address i will mail you a birthday card uh the way i mail them i mail them so they're reusable by you i just put a sticky on them i don't write on them but I make them so that you can just use them if you want. So if I haven't sent you a birthday card in the last, I've been pretty consistent for about four months. That means that I don't have your name in my little, I'll do this fast so nobody gets nobody's birthday, but I have a little by the month birthday book and I add to it as I go. So if your name's not in there and you would like it to be in there, send me your birthday. You don't even have to put the year, I just really need the date and month and your address and I'll send you a birthday card um, and then hopefully you guys will come and make cards and send them to other people and we'll all just keep spreading the love okay so for this Saturday for those who are curious I will try not to <laughs> move stuff so quickly in front of the camera because I see how jarring it is this is the stamp set we're going to use and these awesome papers now you'll notice that the stamp set has um, you know, all of a sudden, there we go, <laughs> everything's upside down, there we go, um, has stars and stockings and all sorts of stuff. <laughs> I will have more samples by, by Saturday, but um, as you will notice, I have been a little bit obsessed with just the paper, and so most of my samples are mostly about the paper, because it's just awesome, and the foliage that goes with it. So this is the suite of cards, we're, or suite of products we're going to use on Saturday. Uh, they're fairly easy cards. They're designed to be quick to make. And even the little fancy cards like this that open with a fun little fold. Wah, wah. Now these cards are great if you don't have a lot to say. If you have a lot to say, then you might want to stick an extra piece of paper in here. But, um, but even these little fancy ones are fairly quick to do. And I will have a bunch of this stuff pre-cut just to make it faster. That's the idea, is, uh, quick and easy. We can chat. We can make some cards. Keep it simple. We'll save the big other stuff for other days. So that's what we're doing on Saturday. There is still room for a couple more. If uh, anybody wants to come, just drop me a line so I know who I'm expecting. But that is Saturday from 1 to 4. And uh, funny revelation this afternoon. I have spent most of the last couple weeks out in the garage getting ready for my BOGO sale, which is all the retired product I have, and I have nine years worth of it. There is, I can, actually I can tell you because I have been taking pictures, about 325 stamp sets. And that's after a bunch of people came and I have already shopped in person. But I'm trying to take pictures of them all to get them online so that I can sell them anywhere in Canada. Because I would really like to send them to a good home where they can have a long and happy life and get lots of use by other people. Because the, you know, two or three hundred snap sets I still have in my office are enough to keep us all busy for the next little while. So I have spent a lot of time in the garage, and it is very dusty. And the more I try to clean and sort and organize it, the dustier it gets. So I was trying to figure out, oh, how am I going to get all this cleaned and all the dust settled by Saturday? Which is when it occurred to me that, hey, why don't we just do it in the house? So my original post said we were garage stamping, but we will be stamping in the house on Saturday. Or, yes, Saturday. So doesn't matter what the weather's doing. We'll have lots of room inside. Uh, we'll have some snacks. We'll make some cards. We'll talk about what's coming up over the next few months. I'm going to try to take um, a short video somewhere along the way, or a couple clips of videos along the way. So anybody who can't make it now, I know we've had a few people with, you know, fire duty and other things come up. Um, it'll give you an idea what kind of stuff we're looking at, so you can always give me your feedback afterwards. And I am, I am open to just... I'm a wing it person, so adjusting things as we go along, but yes, I would like to have kind of an idea of what works the best for you guys, because like I said earlier, I'm just happy to make cards, uh, and I have the luxury of time now, so I would like to try to tailor things to work for you guys. Uh, there's a couple things going on just, you know, globally in the big Stampin' Up! world, um, one of which is being like majorly affected by global shipping, which... I think started out as a pandemic issue and then became a Suez Canal issue, which as I understand it, the boat is still there. It's just turned enough people to get past it, but they still haven't actually moved it. And now we're back to still, I think, the pandemic issue and 
who knows what else. So it's taking things a very long time to get where they're going. And because of that, that's creating things like selling out and back orders. So I'm not really a big push the sales type of demo. Maybe I should be, but I'm not. And uh, But there is one thing, though. All of this Christmas stuff, I have to sort of get on it quickly, some of it quicker than others, or it's going to sell out and it's going to be back ordered. And a lot of times lately, the back orders have been anywhere from six to eight weeks, which means if we don't, if we miss out on something, the six to eight weeks might mean it gets here too late to use for this Christmas. So I'm trying to plan around not having that happen, but there's a few things I can't really do much about. So one of the ideas I had for Christmas season was a kit together. And it's a very simple thing. Everybody can do it from home or you can come and do it in person. It works either way. Everybody picks a kit and you have a bunch to choose from. So there's two Christmas ones coming out. There's already about, I think, 10 non-Christmas ones that are already on the website that you can get. And it's basically, if you look on the website under kits and it's there, that means it's available. And they're going to kind of rotate them out. But they've been super popular. So the Christmas ones that are going to come now, I think are going to sell out very quickly. So if there's anybody who thinks that's the way to go, or even if you want to get your kit and bring it to one of the other events and just not have to make things from scratch, these kits come in a box. Ooh, look at me getting that right the first time. Um, they come in a box. Everything you need is in there. There's a block. There's all the cards that are cut. There's little die cut little thingies. There's a stamp set. There's everything you need except for a pair of scissors. So they're super simple to make. Um, so the, one of the ones that's coming out, and it'll be out for the 1st of September, is the Christmas card one. And we don't have all of the details yet. I've seen a video with a bit more, and I can just tell you their, their kits are very well done, and they're cute as hell. So that's probably not a lot to swear on Facebook. I'll try, to, I'll try to not do that again. So it makes the cards. So this is the one that's, like I said, for the cards for the 1st of September. And then for the 1st of October... It sounds like they'll be releasing a, and th these dates are approximate, but it makes sense, like in the crafting world, that it would be about those time periods. They're going to be releasing a tag one. And I saw our CEO from Stampin' Up! does little lives, and she did one with these, and she had the, her hand like this, and the tag fit in her hand pretty well. So, like, I, they're a pretty good sized tag, but they're super cute with, like, the little, I don't know if that's just a yellow car or a taxi, the tree, the Santa, there's four different styles here. And as you can see, you'll get a block and here's what the stamp set is and you can see some little shinies. And So these kits are should probably be 26 bucks plus shipping and, and GST. So they're going to come in at the, you know, $35, $40 mark. But you will be able to make, I would think at least like 12, 16 of something, whatever's in them. So what I need to know is if there's anybody who thinks, yeah, this is for sure what I want. Because then I will start keeping an eye out for it and let you know the second it is available. Oh, look, you can see both at once. Um, just so that we don't miss out on these. Now, there's a chance that I'm totally wrong. They're going to come out. They'll have tons in stock and they'll last forever. But on the off chance that that, that doesn't happen, because I think this is one of those things, there's already a few things that went into back order before the catalog even went public for the like for the regular um, public, demonstrators can order a month early, and there's a bunch of stuff went into back order just that fast, and it's still not back. So I'm just trying to, if, if you guys have your heart set on this or this sort of type of crafting, which is, like I said, a lot simpler, very easy to do at home. You don't honestly don't even need me for this. I like to craft with people, so we can just hang out. But it's it comes with instructions. It comes with everything. Great for kids. Um... So yeah, you could order them, just have them delivered right to your house and do them from home if you wanted. So if that works better for your time frame. But like I said, I just want to make sure that if this is anybody's thing, that give me a heads up so I can watch for it. Because I will know before you know that it's going live. And uh, then we can do that. I will likely order one of each just because I like to see them all and they're adorable. And I do like to craft when somebody else has to do the work. Um, as much as I like doing the work and prepping and cutting, sometimes I just like it when somebody else does all the work. So, and this, these are in the mini holiday catalog, um, which is out. Uh, anybody else who wants to uh, do the mini holiday catalog and, and run classes and do what I do, there's an awesome joining offer right now. Oh, it's not in this book. But all of these uh, amazing um, bundles and products and stuff, you get a free one when you sign up right now. So, if anybody wants to do this, let me know. There, that's all my sales push for... I'm good for the month now. Um, 
I do have the idea of doing some little technique classes or you know showing you how to do different things and see, now I have nothing to put in front of here I'm gonna put a pretty card um, so I'd like some feedback on that too what would you what would you like to see um, I can just show you cool cards I can show you other people's cards show you how to make things we can do all sorts of fun stuff um, I had the idea I do every Monday night I'm just looking really quickly to see where they are. Sorry, as my arm reaches across. Um, every Monday night, I do something called Mystery Monday. And I love it. It is... Um, my team leader posts a list of supplies. So she'll basically say this size card base, this size paper, this size this. It doesn't actually tell you what the card looks like. You get to pick your own colors, your own stamp set, your own paper. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then... We all get together at 7 o'clock on, on a Facebook Live. We could also do it by Zoom. And everybody makes their own version of what they think the card is. And then at the end, she shows you what the card is. And everybody looks at theirs. And it's just a fun way to craft and do stuff like that. Um, I can send out pictures of a sketch. Uh, so I would send a picture with, <clears throat> for example, if I use this as a sketch. This was a custom order that I made for someone. It would be a, you know, a card base. with It would show one element going this way. A shape here, something there, a sentiment, and something. So it wouldn't be super specific to anything. And then see what all the different ways people interpret and see what they come up with. So any of those things, if people want to craft online, I'm good for doing any of those. So, yeah. Feedback, people. That's what I'm saying here. Need some feedback. Um, the other thing I'm going to do, though, to wrap things up today, is I'm going to show you um, some happy mail. I like to send happy mail, I like to get happy mail. I'm going to do a much better job of, uh, of doing this, but for right now, I have collected the cards I've gotten probably over the last two or three months um, from other people that come in the mail, and it's just fun. It's uh, cards in the mail, it's just fun. Um, but I'm gonna show them to you too, because it'll give you ideas. And if at any point I show you a card, and you're thinking, oh my goodness, gotta make one of those, let me know, because I can tell you what's in it, how to make it, Whatever you guys need. I live to serve. <laughs> I say that sarcastically, but in this case, I really do mean it. Um, so, yes, that was from Nikki. I believe this is the one that was from Karina. We did a we did a card swap, myself and some fellow demonstrators. And we all made cards and sent them to each other. And so that was lots of fun to get the cards in the mail. Awesome seashell set. Love it. Uh, some little techniques here with the uh, the ribbon fold of the paper. I don't always get this fancy in when we do our classes, but I can if you want to. One of my absolute favorites uh, product lines, the snail mail. I just love these snails. I don't know what it is about them. Uh, I was going to say this is a lovely card made with a something flower, but honestly, I can't think of the name of the flower right now. But it's a lovely card. This was made by a brand new demonstrator. Isn't it awesome? It was her first time doing a card swap. And uh, it's just a fantastic card. And it very happy card. Very happy, happy mail card. Um, oh, made by a dear friend. I love this card. These are little note cards. You notice the... Uh, here, I'll wait till I get to the next one. You notice the size of these? Um... Oh, I'm getting so good at this upside down, right, left thing. I'm just so impressed with myself. Uh, okay, so this is the this is the full size card. This card is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you, Shelley. Um, so if you'll notice, these are note cards are just a little bit smaller, but still mailable. Uh, they're a lot quicker to make and they're a lot simpler. Uh, I am going to look for a site to do coffee and cards starting in September, and it would be using these note cards. And you basically come down five bucks, make three note cards, real quick stuff. They'll be you know tailored to whatever month it is we're doing them and just a quick way to have a grab a coffee make a few cards and have something to send out so but when i'm talking about note cards that's what i'm talking about yes you can tell i'm going back a little bit because it says welcome spring but love this card uh, this card came from another demonstrator event uh, it is fancy and over the top and i am going to uh, i'm going to have a totally blank screen while you listen to me open this plastic these are the envelopes I use. This is how I send my cards as well. So, so I probably shouldn't put her name on there. Um, 
So when you get them in there, it doesn't do anything to the card, and then you can reuse it. But yeah, this was made by a demonstrator in Ontario in a sort of online card swap we did. And it's got layers and embossing and sponging. And you guys want to make fancy cards, you let me know, because I can do this too. Look at how fancy that is. Isn't it gorgeous? And it's all metallic and beautiful. Uh, I do love simple cards though too, and this is uh, this was for my retirement. We're into the retirement cards now, um, which maybe these cards just made me happier because the event made me happier. But yes, these were the retirement cards I got. We're catching up. That was the most recent big event, so that's what we're getting to. I love this card. Um, the card itself and the what went into the card. Just love it. And then, oops, there we go. How about that card? Um, somebody made this card and was doing, and another demonstrator commented on it and said, oh my god, that's a Tracy card. And yes, this is the Tracy card. So, there you go. That was our walkthrough cards in the mail. And look at this. <laughs> this is so I can remember to do it. I even have a box that says cards in the mail. <laughs> uh, so thank you to everybody who sent me a, gave me a lovely card. I, I do like to get them. Uh, let's see. That was it for my list. I actually made a list. And uh, anybody who knows me from my work days knows that I make a list and then rarely look at it. But this time I'm actually looking at the list while I talk and uh, try to figure out a better system here. I'm going to put this here so we have something cute to look at. There we go. Um, yeah. I think I covered what I wanted to. So, next time What's Up Wednesday should be at 7 o'clock on Wednesday night because that's the plan. Um, I do have make it Monday um, and I'm going to either Friday or Saturday throw something else up there I'm gonna throw a little fun tidbits in between and uh, like I said I really hope I hear back from you guys and you guys can give me some ideas on what you'd like to see and do and if what format works the best for you like I said I am I am in the process of mastering <laughs> see I say that optimistically I will master them all eventually Facebook YouTube Instagram Pinterest and I am, oh, and already Zoom, I think I got Zoom figured out. And then uh, I'm working on Canva for the graphics. So there we go. Um, oh, look, I, I got a comment. I needed a comment so I could see if I could pay attention to comments while I was doing this. <clears throat> I have no idea how to tell if anybody's watching. Um, I haven't figured out where, I, can, I know where that is on other people's lives. I just don't know where it is on mine. So I'll have to look a little closer the next time. But uh, hola, Tamara. I can see your comment, and I can comment on it. Um, unfortunately, your timing is not very good, because I'm about to wrap it up. But thanks for joining us. <laughs> okay, people. Peeps. Um, yeah, this was fun. I Next time I will have it, that you'll be able to see me, because as much as I dread that, I know that it would be a lot nicer to talk to people if you could actually see their face. It's, it's the thing we've missed for the last 18 months, and... The thing I'm going to work on, so keep your fingers crossed that the computer program gods smile on me and I I figure out Minicam is done. Minicam screwed up the computer, but I'm hoping I have better luck with Switcher or OS, not OSB, that's kind of wood. Maybe it's OBS is the other thing that I was looking at. Um, and maybe it will, uh, maybe it will work better. Sound keeps cutting out. Uh, yes, maybe it will work better when my IT department is here. I, I see the comment that the sound keeps cutting out. I apologize for that. I um, It's probably because I move my hands so much and myself so much when I talk that I'm probably coming in and out of the microphone. So I'm going to work on that too. Stream from Zoom. Oh, see, now she's asking for lots. Okay, I'm going to spend at least a little bit of time each day learning more technology so I can get better at this and find better ways to to come to you guys. But thank you guys for tuning in, whoever tuned in if somebody did and um and yeah i'm gonna see if i can with remember what my son taught me and put this on youtube and uh stay tuned for further antics from paper pusher <laughs> all right thanks everybody have a, a great weekend and if i don't see you on saturday i will talk to you again on monday bye <laughs>